Hey everyone, so today we're going to go spear fishing. We're going to be going with Fisherman's Life and a new friend Orville, and he's going to be taking us to a nice secret location where hopefully I can get all my first fish. So pretty excited to share this video today. At first we didn't really have much luck, but you'll see how bad I actually was. pretty terrible so far, Orville was already off to a great start. And right here, I realized the spear tip loosened and got lost, so I ended up having to take a quick break. After jumping back in and getting some advice from Orville, along with borrowing his gun, I was finally able to get it going.
got three. Big, big shout out to Matt's, Fisherman's Life, obviously, and Orville. It's his own channel. Um, we'll link both below, but they put us on with this huge fish, especially Orville with this nice gun. Doing all the work and spotting. I just pulled the trigger, but you know, I'll just put my name in there too. Two, two blacks or blues, were they just schooled up? Yeah, a lot of them were all fixed. So you shot them in mid mid water, not like on the floor. Uh, they were they were in course of water. Yeah. Oh, yeah, these are fast. Yeah. The second perch, I was just like following him. <laughs> I was like, this guy's gonna take a shot. No, I, was like, I was like, I spooked him. When we got back home, we decided to do a taste test of the perch and rockfish. But the first thing we did is fillet the fish all the same way by cutting behind its fin and then going along the spine and continuing to cut through as close to the bone as possible. Then we took the skin off the rockfish by shimmying the knife along the skin. After that, we seasoned the rockfish and then melted a stick of butter on low to medium heat. Once the butter completely melted, we added in some garlic and then the fish. We basted it in butter until it was done cooking. Next we made the avocado cream sauce by blending together avocado, sugar, salt, lemon juice, vegetable stock, Greek yogurt, and parsley. Then we started to plate using the avocado cream sauce, the fish, chopped pistachios, and microgreens. Next, we started prepping our perch dish by chopping up some radishes, cucumbers, and watermelons into tiny cubes. We then scored the perch skin to prevent curling while cooking and of course seasoned it before putting it in the pan skin side down. Once the perch finished cooking, we used the same pan to blister some shishito peppers. When the shishitos were done cooking, we cleaned them up by cutting off the stems and removing the seeds, which we then added to a blender along with some garlic and olive oil. Once that was done, we started to plate. All right, let's eat this. Um, I think we should probably try this one first because we cooked it first and it's probably a little bit colder, so let's go. It's really well seasoned. Yeah, I'm really surprised that the butter poaching, I guess, was so buttery. <laughs> I don't know, we've never done it this way before for mm -hmm. cooking fish, so it's definitely different. It's really well done. The microgreens are really just to be fancy, but yeah. they do add a little extra taste and the pistachios give a nice little crunch. Yeah, I agree. Obviously nuttiness. I did try the avocado. Mm-hmm. I think that's good. 
Mm, yeah, it has a nice little tang because I add a little bit of lemon juice to it. I think it works really well. Definitely creamy. I can see why Matt eats this all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just to reiterate, this was an homage to oh, Matt's yeah. Fisherman's Life. Um, traditional rock cod that he usually goes after. Avocado, obviously. Just a little more fancier for him. And the pistachios kind of give a nice extra additional texture, a different taste. Yeah. And also, they kind of represent the cliffs that he climbs to get all the fish. <laughs> the next one, uh, the outside is a ring of cucumber, radish, and watermelon with a little bit of microgreens. And inside is a shishito pepper, I guess, emulsion. Yeah. That we added garlic and olive oil to. And then in the middle, we have the perch with skin on. And it was fried to as crisp. And I just torched kind of the whole thing a little bit. Just for that extra little bit of time. Tell me what you think. The skin is definitely crispy. So the emulsion was definitely spicy. Shishito peppers usually aren't too spicy. Mm. So the cooling elements actually work as okay. I hope that they would. So yeah, I tried the emulsion before we put it in here. It was like really spicy. But yeah, the, the radish and the watermelon and the cucumber definitely, definitely helped to cool it down a lot. So yeah, it's really mm. good though. What do you think? Yeah, that was my main goal. If you really like a kick, the shishito peppers are surprisingly spicy. We actually added a ton. It probably definitely is a lot more spicier than intended to. Yeah. Um, but I think hopefully the cooling elements will help you if you can't handle the heat. Would yeah. you make this again? I'd make both. <laughs> That's spicy. I would make both, <laughs> but maybe I'd try to add a little more salt mm. to the emulsion to try to tamper down that heat. I don't know, maybe even add another cooling element, maybe like mint like we discussed before. Yeah, I think maybe a little, maybe dollop of like Greek yogurt too. Yeah, maybe yeah. that too. This dish would definitely make it again. I feel like it's pretty simple. Yeah. The plating is fancy, but the idea is really simple. It's avocado, yeah. fish. You don't even have to put pistachio nuts if you don't like it or you're allergic, but yeah. what about you? Yeah, I wish this was a little bit less spicy, but Sorry. it's overall, it's really good. Yeah, I think if we had Greek yogurt on it, it'd be great, and mm -hmm. I definitely would make the other one. Which one do you like more, the perch or the rockfish? I think that I really like the skin on the perch just because it adds its own natural texture, but I think in terms of the texture of the actual fish, the perch is a little bit too mushy and the rockfish is much more firm, which I prefer. Um, but yeah, they both were definitely really good. Thanks again to Matt and Orville for taking Alex out spear fishing and, you know, getting him on his first fish. And Orville really helped with everything from spotting. And when our gun broke, he even yeah. <laughs> let me use his nice gun. Um, so a huge shout out or else I wouldn't, we wouldn't be eating. Yes, it's true, um, we wouldn't be eating. So if you guys want to try this at home, definitely go for it. Try to be fancy once in a while, you know, treat yourself. <laughs> um, the ingredients and the recipe are all down below, but you don't have to plate it exactly the same way we did. Yeah, and as usual, if you want to see us make anything else, also comment down below. But if not, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye-bye.